Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of God Legs. Today I'd like to talk about the Barfly Garment Mounts. Um, I've been riding these for a little over a year and a half now. And uh, for this season I was uh, fortunate enough to be on the Barfly Ambassador uh, program. Which means that I'm getting Barfly products at a discount, uh, but they're not giving it uh, to me for free. So they've not asked me to do this, or and this is only because I really like their products. And also, this I actually bought before becoming a part of the uh, Barfly uh, Ambassador Program. So Barfly is an American company uh, that makes all kinds of uh, cycling-related products. And among the things that they've become mostly most known for are their um, uh, garment mounts uh, and basically the computer mounts. So I actually bought this. I don't know if you can see it. I'll give it a close up, um, which is a garment mount. Um, at the time, it was called the SLI, I believe, and it's now called the uh, SL4 Mini or something like that. It's a really cool mount. It's sturdy. It um, it's easy to put on the bike and the coolest thing about it at least to uh, if you ask me is the fact that you can put on different um, uh, mounts beneath it so I'm actually wearing this uh, with a GoPro mount and it's all coming from Barfly themselves so when you actually buy when you buy the new ones you actually get um, uh, they will fit to Garmin computers as well as some other computer brands, and you'll the uh, the part underneath will fit with GoPros with uh, different lighting options and also some Di2 integration. So I use this with my GoPro, and I really like it uh, because it's easy to set up, and I always have it with me. If you've tried some of the GoPro mounts that you fit onto your handlebars or your stem or your seat post you know that it can be quite the hassle because they have two screws that'll need to adjust independently and then you have to climb it down with this you actually just put in the the, the casing from GoPro um, and tighten it up I've done some modification on this one and using one of the GoPro uh, tightening rods instead of the um, uh, bar fly which is basically just a bolt the, the idea with the bolt is that it's more aerodynamic than the rods but when I'm out riding and I'm doing uh, this vlog or anything else I like um, to be able to take off my camera pretty uh, quick if I'm doing some handheld stuff or anything I don't like to have a hex wrench with me uh, to unscrew this and use the camera um, independently. So that's why I fitted this uh, rod instead and it works pretty great. And when I'm out of training anyways, I'm not really concerned about aerodynamics in the same way as I would in a race. But of course, when you're racing, it's a very good idea to use the, the uh, included rod instead because it will be more aerodynamic. The great thing about the GoPro mount is that it will be interchangeable between different bar fly mounts. So if you have a barfly mount on your summer bike, your winter bike, and your mountain bike, you'll actually be able to use the platform beneath on all those bikes. Meaning that you have um, one platform you can use on all your uh, barfly mounts. So I think they're really, really cool. I really like them. And I'm even if I wasn't a part of the ambassador program, I'd still be using them. And I was actually before uh, joining. So there you have it. That's my take on the uh, Barfly mounts for a road bike. I also have some of the other products, but I don't like them as much as I like this one. So thanks again for tuning in. If you have any questions, make sure to um, write them in the comments below. If not, remember to watch my other videos and subscribe to the channel and you'll get all these cool videos in your newsfeed. So for now, bye.